Are you looking to become rich inside of the best tower defense game on the entire Roblox platform? Well, look no further than this video right here because I'm about to reveal to you the five ways to earn coins the best inside of Roblox's tower heroes. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. Let's start off with the fifth way to earn coins in my opinion and that is going to be right over here in the corner with your precious Robux. If we click on the currency right down here in this corner, we can see the currency shop come and open up and you can see that we can buy 100 coins 250 coins 500 coins and so on within this shop now i have seen worse deals in games to where you pay a lot more robux for a lot less value of the end game currency but this is definitely not the best deal either that I've seen. However, if you are the 1% of people out there on the Roblox platform who actually has a whole bunch of Robux to spend or you would really just love to support the developers and the studio of Pixel Byte here for the Tower Heroes game, go ahead and spend some Robux to be able to get this. This is going to be the fastest way to earn coins out of this entire video. But if you want to earn coins fast, this is definitely the way to go if you have the Robux to spend. Coming in at number 4, we have selling duplicate skins that you earn right here as if uh, if you played tower heroes before you will know that there are skins that you can buy within these crates for your towers and some of them are common some of them are uncommon rare legendary etc they go all the way up to mythic and the thing with these crates right here is that sometimes they can give you duplicates of the same skin now you might be wondering if you can sell those duplicate skins and the answer is yes you can and you can get some nice coins for that as well well, um, if we go over here to inventory to skins right here, we can go and see every skin that you own within the game. We start out with event ones here at the top and then work our way down. We have mythics and legendaries and then we have some rares down here. But as you notice, we can see this number right by the side down here. It says one. That means we only have one of each of those skins. However, if we come down here to one like this tourist right here, we can see we have two of them and we can actually go and sell that for some coins. Now that only gave me six coins, but by the time you have all of these different skins, you go on like a skin grind or something like that, you can have a whole bunch of them start stacking up. So like we can sell two of those there for 12 coins because I had three of those same skins. You can actually get a lot of money from this. Like there was another duplicate right there and another and another. So the, by the time you go through all of your skins and you might have to go through them twice because you do miss some of them sometimes, you can actually earn a decent amount of money. Now it's not going to be a whole lot at the end probably, but you will earn more than what you had before for sure. And then by the time we get down here to the blue or the teal color ones, then that's just ones that we get here inside of the game for completing maps or things like that. I think I just saw another one right here, somewhere right here. But look at that, we gained about 20 or 30 coins just by going through all of our skins and selling some. And I'm sure there's probably another duplicate in here somewhere. Um, I just have not been keeping my eye on it, but that's okay. That is probably the the second easiest way to obtain skins within the game the next ones up are going to become a little bit harder but they are going to give you a lot more coins coming in at number three is going to be playing harder maps now what I mean by harder maps is not only the level of map but also the difficulty of the map now obviously if you are a lower level you can't access every single one of these maps down here going all the way up to bleak barrens but that's okay because you don't necessarily need the best map in fact i don't recommend using the best best map to grind there are plenty of maps including ones like canyon calamity that give enough coins if you can do them solo and i've come to the conclusion that if you play a lot of these maps that are probably between level 5 plus and probably level 40 you get 20 to 25 coins if you beat it on easy mode in the challenge mode if you get it on a medium in these same maps you can get 35 to 40 coins and on hard mode you get 45 or plus coins and i grind canyon calamity a lot i've been trying to get the minecart mimic inside of this game and it has been a decent source of coins i play it on medium mode solo but if you'd like to get together maybe you have some siblings or some great friends that you play all the time with maybe you can get them on here and you can see about maybe doing a hard mode on some of these maps maybe staying away from these raid maps they're a little
little bit harder, including Destiny's Dawn. It has been rumored to be in the past that Blast Tech Barrage did give the most amount of coins out of any map inside of the game. I'm not sure if that was beaten by Bleak Barons or not. But anyway, definitely try going and playing some harder maps. There are plenty of these you can solo, especially on medium, even probably some that you can do hard mode. If you guys like for me to make a video on doing one of these solo, like a medium life candy calamity, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to show a tutorial on how to do that. Now, when it comes to the second thing on this list, it kind of ties into number three, and that is being active and working hard to be able and get your coins. You're not going to get coins overnight just by doing just like one thing. It's going to take time if you really want to get something that you're grinding or saving up for. And the more you play this game, the better you're going to become, the higher level you're gonna be able and get. And the higher level you get, the more maps you can play, the more experience you become, and the better you just become and the better you are, the more coins you're gonna get. Now, before we get to the first place thing inside of Tower Heroes to see how in the world you can get coins the best way. I just like to let you know if nobody's told you yet today, you are seen, you are known, and you are loved by both God and by me. And if this video has helped you out in any way so far, please make sure to go down and subscribe, consider subscribing, and like the video if it has helped you out. And even if you'd like to go down and join our Roblox fan group, the link is going to be at this card right here or down in the description below. From there, you can go and you can buy yourself some of our Roblox merchandise, only seven Robux, super cool. So make sure you go check that out but now let's hop back into the number one way i have come to discover to get coins inside of this game and number one is going to be everything within the quest menu right over here to the left what do you have here inside of the quest menu is the weekly challenge the daily decks and the daily quest we'll start down here at the daily quest look at this for just beating 50 ghosts right here you have to complete a map you have to beat the map for progress to count on any of this stuff but if you do that you're gonna earn 50 coins for each one of these things these things refresh every day it's not always going to be 50 coins it might be more it might be less just depending on what quest you get but all you have to do is beat 50 ghosts beat 50 goblets and beat 50 shrooms and bam right there is 150 coins easy and this refreshes every single day is so you like you can see right here seven hours 27 minutes and 56 seconds left right here or you can go ahead and refresh them once you get done you, that does cost you some robux though 50 robux to be exact but that's such an easy way to get coins and kind of like that you also have the daily decks as well these are fresh at the same time as the uh, daily quests do as well and what the daily decks are is if you use all three or all four or even all, sometimes all five of the heroes shown on these things you can click the use button right here and it will actually give them to you that makes it helpful so you don't have to go and actually find those heroes just does them all in one click for you right there but it will give you bonus coins if you complete and beat the map so just like this if i use slow and steady this deck right here it's going to give me an additional 25 coins or we can go down here to the magic users right here that's going to give me an additional 30 coins or the undead ones right here that's going to give me 30 coins as well and right there between these two that is well over one uh, sorry 200 coins and on top of both of these the final and the best way to be able and get coins i believe in this this game is going to be the weekly challenge these things give so many coins each and every single week I believe it ranges from 150 coins to 200 coins last week I know the one gave 200 coins for completely free and it wasn't even that challenging and this one is going to give you 190 as you can see right here not only do these give you a truckload amount of coins every single week but they're also extremely fun to play as well some of them you some of them you have to use uh, exclusive heroes for um, or special heroes whatever gives you a deck to use or some of them like this week you can use any deck that you would like to and between doing every single thing on this list I calculated it earlier and this will give you a total of 425 coins that is more coins than anything I have told you so far in this video that is insane that is almost half of 100 coins and by the time you do everything on this list you sell your skins you go and maybe if you, if you want to you can spend some Robux and you play some maps you can get well over 500 coins every single week by doing this you could definitely probably get well over a thousand or two thousand coins every single even day if you really 
literally spent like multiple hours doing this, which I don't recommend. But even if you were getting 1,000 coins a week, that is still amazing progress within this game. And if you're like me and you'd like to spend your coins on trying to get new skins, or maybe you haven't unlocked all of the heroes in the game and you're just trying to do that, this is an amazing strategy to be able and get all of those things, get plenty of coins. But I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, again, please let me know down in the comments below. Give it a like and consider subscribing. We are a Tower Heroes loving channel and we do put out Tower Heroes content all of the time. But until next time, my friend, I will plan to see you in the next video.